Local seniors Ben and Tom took a drive over to Kingston to talk with library director Mike Slauson about what's happening at the library. our brand new children's room. It's recently been renovated. Uh, we have new paint, we got new carpet, we have all new furniture. We got a really nice new window installed into our, our new playroom. It was a, a group effort to get this room completed and it's almost complete. We're almost there. Once the playroom is open, that's going to be our, our room sort of focused on play and that's going to be for ages uh, zero to six years old. There's lots of things for, for the children to do here. Uh, number one, of course, they can come in and meet our, uh, our new head of youth services, Miss Sam, uh, who has a ton of great programs coming up in their online programs, their in-person programs, which are mostly taking place outside in our tent. Our Lego Club has started up again, which has always been one of our most popular programs. And this month, Lego Club, Lego Club will be on the 21st at 3 o'clock. If anyone would like to see all the programs we offer, they can check out our website at kingstonpubliclibrary.org. Click on the online calendar and you'll see everything that's coming up. Libraries of Things are a, a fairly recent trend in libraries and we started ours a couple years ago. We started it small with just some uh, Wi-Fi hotspots and a couple other small items and it, was, it ended up being really popular. And this year we received a donation from the Kingston Recycling Committee and we were able to, uh, to purchase some more items for a library, library of things. So uh, you can check out a telescope, you can check out uh, musical instruments, you can check out the Wi-Fi hotspots, uh, you can check out a, a gardening kit. There's all sorts of stuff uh, from, from cooking to video games to uh, digital art. One of my favorite parts about the Library of Things is our party games. So uh, if, if you're having a, a party at your house, you can have a party on the library. You want to check out a, uh, a giant Jenga kit, you can do that. You want to uh, check out uh, a, a projector and screen to show to have a movie night outside, you can do that. Uh, we have all sorts of, of fun games, fun activities, and uh, there's something for everyone in there. I encourage people to check out our website, kingstonpubliclibrary.org. They can suggest items that they would like to see in the library of things, but also if they have a, a donation, they have something that they would like to see the community be able to use, uh, we are more than happy to accept those uh, as, as donations. That's the real, the real goal of, of this program, is to help people out um, who, who may need a, an item or a piece of equipment, may not be able to afford it, or may only need it once, and you know, why buy it if you're only gonna use it once when you can come to the library and, and check it out. So uh, the seed library, I think, is my favorite part of, the, of this entire library. Uh, we started it a couple of years ago, just like the Library of Things. It started out very small, and uh, it's expanded. We, we got donations from uh, several seed companies, um, and what we've done is taken an old card catalog, so some of you uh, who, who used to go into libraries years ago may remember the old card catalogs that you pull out the, the long drawers on. So we've taken an old card catalog and we've, uh, we had a local artist decorate it and we've stocked it with seeds. And the, the basic idea behind a seed library is that uh, patrons come in, they take seeds and they go home and grow them. And then at the end of the year, they harvest their seeds from those plants and bring them back uh, and donate them for the next year, uh, for the growing season in the next year. There's uh, vegetables, there's flowers, there's herbs, there's a, there's a little bit of, of everything in there. Um, and I think another great part about the seed library is that there's, there's plants in there and vegetables in there for all levels of growers. So if you want something easy like pole beans, we got that. If you want something a little more difficult like some of the, uh, the, the interesting uh, strains of, of broccoli or some of these other things that may be a little more difficult to grow if you're an experienced gardener, you can take those. One, one extra thing I, I think people should come check out is our beautiful courtyard. Uh, the, the library trustees recently uh, donated some new furniture out there and some new, some new seating, some new cushions. Um, new umbrellas so it's really looking good out there things are just starting to bloom so I would encourage people to come by uh, pick up pick up a book or a magazine and, and enjoy some time in the courtyard we're open Monday through Friday Mondays we're open 1 to 7 
and Tuesday through Fridays we're open 11 until 4. We have a, uh, a 15 person uh, limit for the building, uh, but that, I think that number will, will go up uh, as, as things get better. To check out upcoming events and programs, visit kingstonpubliclibrary.org. <music>